Hi, this is Trina from The Gaming Angel, and I am here with a new video on the brand new GGB sets we just got in the mail. And I, this video, we're going to go over the CMO set, which is Tokidoki GGB collaboration. Um, I have another video for a legacy set, and I'll have another video for a set in Flower Power as well. So this way you can see all the different videos and all the kind of the different looks to each set because they do have some differences. Well, this one's going to be the Tokidoki print. Uh, as you can see, it has the Tokidoki Jujube stamp. It's got the hardware, Tokidoki hardware, that they have. Um, this one's in the Siamo print, which means it's got the same print with the little ocean. And uh, see on this side, you got the goofy little shark. Um, some things to look for. I love this print because every time I look at this print, there's something new. But if you look, for example, really closely, there's these bottles with little love notes in them. I mean, it's all about, yes, there's major characters. There's Sandy. Um, I don't really have a Donatella on this, which is really interesting. Um, what I do like is I have the uh, coral on the bottom of both sides. So that's kind of neat. It's on the bottom. Um, but there's Moo. I don't know, mozzarella. I did not forget. Uh, but... Uh, I only have one mermaid over in the corner. Now, when you get a Tokidoki GGB bag, it can be random as to your placement. So, um, a lot of people sometimes either sell them or try to trade them online, which you can probably you'll see a lot of on Facebook right now because people are going to be getting in their sets. Okay, the medium set piece is it's like this. And I have basically the same pattern on the medium set piece, which I what I uh, what thought was interesting is the back of it is upside down. So on the back of it, I do have the Donatella, but it's cut off, but she's right there. And I have, this one is my favorite mermaid with the blue hair. So she's on there, which is really cool. Oh, and I guess I have the little Mozilla cow. Um, but uh, it's like it's a continuance of the pattern because it's upside down on the back. I just thought it was weird. I don't know if that's common. Um, I'll have to look at my iconic and see if it's that way. The inside is, and I don't know if you can see it really well, but it is yellow. Um, it does have the Tokidoki uh, embossing on it, uh, so it's not the same kind of lining as the legacy lining. Um, same with the larger set, yellow. Um, as well with the Tokidoki lining. Um, it does not have any pockets, um, which I was kind of surprised. I didn't know sets didn't have pockets. I knew the small set bag didn't. The small set piece uh, has this huge patch still on it, which kind of takes away from the design. It's hard to see. I've got Dentel on the very bottom. Um, but I do love that I have the little octopus with the heart on the back. I thought that was really cute. Um, I like having them kind of featured. There's the little seahorse on the top. So kind of a neat back. And again, the thing about, for me, the sets is the best piece is the small set piece because it has gussets on the side. This one's yellow. And the small set piece can be opened so wide and it can be used for so many things. It really becomes like a little square. And it can be just popped right into the, any kind of size diaper bag. There's so much that could fit in here. Um, to me, the small set pieces are completely where it's at and make the set worth a while. Um, this, <laughs> there's a little goofy shark. Goofy shark because he has a goofy grid. Um, but yeah, we'll see if, if I uh, keep, it'll be very interesting to see what different placements everybody gets. Uh, I'll definitely keep the small set piece and then we'll see about the medium and large to see if what everybody else gets. Hope you enjoyed this. And again, I have two other videos for the Legacy and for the Flower Power set. And uh, let me know what you think. See ya. Bye.